Now to get sketching our diagram, let's cover some of the different options that we have via the drawing tools menu. Rectangular room allows you to draw a rectangular or square room by dragging your finger to the desired dimensions. Once you release your finger, those dimensions will become a room. Via free draw, you can draw any shape beyond a square or rectangle. First, move your finger around the screen to select your starting point. And now drag your finger to the desired dimensions. Use the check to have the system calculate the last wall measurement and to close your shape. If you draw two lines, the system will complete a square or rectangle. Now you may have noticed an additional toolbar that appeared when you are in free draw mode. From left to right, you can use a distal icon to connect it to your device to transmit measurements captured by the laser meter via Bluetooth. There is an additional video playlist for distal usage. You can use a keypad to adjust the measurements manually as you sketch your walls. This will help if you find that it is difficult to release your finger at an exact measurement. The door icon will allow you to insert doors as you draw your rooms. Once you finalize a shape, a door graphic will appear. You can also adjust the width of the door with the keypad or with the disto. The brick icon will allow you to draw a missing segment or missing wall. For example, if you want to draw an opening between a living room and dining room, when you draw the room separately, but there is not a door. You can also enable or disable the missing wall via the wall details menu. Tap on the eye icon that appears when you select on the wall to adjust any wall properties. The eyeball will hide previously drawn shapes while you draw your current one. Once you finalize the shape, the rest of the rooms will reappear. The arrows facing both ways allow you to switch the starting point or the purple points as they appear on your screen. The triangle helps you calculate an unknown angled wall. First, capture the measurement of the angled wall from crease to crease. Then adjust the orange reference point on your screen by tapping the greater than arrow to select your reference point. The measurement entered with the distal or via the keypad will update the one displayed next to the orange dashed line and calculate the angle for you. It will also adjust the wall. The G icon are different drawing characteristics that you can disable or enable to your preference, such as snapping to a previously drawn point or closing the shape if you bring your finger close to the starting point. The arc will help you calculate a curved wall. Start sketching your room so that the curved wall is the last wall you are trying to sketch, if possible. This will allow you to have more reference points. Enter the measurements for the points that appear in the blue dashed lines or drag the orange points to the dimensions. Select Done to finalize the curved wall. The triangle with the square around it is your 45 and 90 degree lock. If you disable it, it will allow you to draw at any angle you wish. The needle icon allows you to adjust the start point if you snap it to a previously drawn room. The region in blue can be switched by tapping the icon so that you adjust the measurement shown with the disto or with the keypad. How to use a minus icon is shown more in detail during the disto video but overall, it allows you to enter one measurement and then subtract the next measurement if there is no point for your laser to beam. The check at the bottom to the far right and the done on the upper left help you close your shape.
allow the system to calculate the last wall for every shape, including an unknown angled wall, by selecting the check mark. The undo and redo icons on the upper right side allow you to move one step back or one step forward while you're in free draw. Now that we know how to use all of our room drawing tools, let's review and adjust properties if needed. Tap on the room and an eye icon will appear in the middle of the room. If you tap on the eye, it will display the room details menu. Labels, areas, and perimeters allow you to adjust the label of one room and also you can review properties such as the floor, area, or perimeter and adjust the self-coving size. Layout direction allows you to adjust the layout direction that you lay out your product. But first, let's apply our product and we will change the layout direction. Via the products menu shown here, you can review, edit products applied to this specific room. Other ways to apply products are shown in a different product application video. Resize allows you to resize the room in several different ways. For example, if you want to resize your measurements manually, select on Resize. All the icons that appear have the same functionality as in when you're in free draw, except for the square. The square can be used to lock or unlock the angles as you adjust the measurements. Reopen to draw allows you to edit a shape that you have already closed. Resize by drag allows you to drag the handles in green to the desired dimensions or the round ones to adjust the angle. Select on the arc icon at the bottom of the screen to turn a straight wall into a curved wall. You can use a dimension line for reference so that the curved wall is calculated correctly. Divide floor allows you to split up a region within a room so that you can have a different product application or no product applied at all. Edit wall will allow you to adjust stacks on your wall so you can apply different products such as towel in the bathroom. Under the miscellaneous menu, you can attach photos to each room that will only display on your reports. Show or hide your starting point for reference, or save the room that you have already drawn as a template. If you save it as a template, you can use it again on another diagrams by dragging it from your widgets menu under the rooms column. Tapping delete will delete the room. As you draw your rooms, you can draw them separately and then align them by dragging them close to each other. A green line on one wall will specify that that will align both walls. A green dot will align them both at the corner. Back to the drawing menu via the pencil icon, we can insert miscellaneous objects. To draw cutouts or elevations, for example, if I want to draw a cabinet in my kitchen to deduct a product application, or an elevation such as a bench in the bathroom shower that will have tile. This tool is very similar to free draw, even the icons that appear in the toolbar at the bottom have the same effect. Once you finalize a cutout or an elevation, you can also tap on it and select the eye icon to adjust the details of that shape. You may resize if needed. Save it as a template for future use and it will appear at the end of your cutout column in the widgets menu. Select the details to adjust the label, height, and or product assignment. Instructions allow you to enter comments that you want to communicate with whoever else will be reading your diagrams or to remind yourself of any specific details. Drag your finger to pop up the menu and enter your comment. If you enable save to list, it will save it to your comment list so that you can have it for future use. Show arrow is if you want to hide or show your arrow. You can adjust the properties of how the comment appears under the style. Adding a dimension line allows you to enter a manual measurement that is not shown on your diagram for your reference. To add multiple layers, select on the stack icon. You can select edit if you want to switch the layer's name. You can use multiple layers to draw different floors of a property, such as a basement or a second floor, to estimate it by layer. Now let's use different openings and templates from our products and widgets menu. 
Tap on the circle with the arrow to display your products and widgets menu. First we have the openings, such as the door. Tap and drag the door to desired location. The dimensions that appear around the red dashed lines are the distance from the corner to the room to the door and the same for the other side. When you release your finger, a menu will appear. This is where you can edit the properties of the door, such as the width, the distance, or if you want to manually apply a transition from this menu. We also have a window that can be used for reference purposes for seam layout based on sunlight. The next column are the room templates. Just drag them into place in your diagram. Once in place, you may also resize or adjust any details if needed via the eye icon. Remember, you can contribute to this list if there are rooms that you will be using again via the room's eye icon. Under the cutout column, you will find different cabinet, tub, and sink templates. Drag them into place, and once in place, you can resize them. Remember, you can also contribute to this list if there are cutouts that you will use again. And to the right, we have the stair templates. Drag them into place and then adjust the details via the eye icon. If you tap on the details icon, you can adjust different properties such as the riser, thread, and amount of steps. Steps per cut allows you to divide the amount of steps that share one piece of a row good. There are also different covering styles. Be sure to review the different menu options to ensure product is calculated correctly to your customer's preference.